Hi everyone, Martina Zier from the Travian Legends team. Welcome to Ask Travian, where we answer the most asked questions from the community. Did you enjoy our previous episode about the Teutons and the Gauls? We have seen a lot of very engaged comments and discussions. Keep them coming, because now we are going to switch to the Romans. Little disclaimer, in case you haven't watched the other episodes, and by the way, shame on you, with this small series we are highlighting the differences between tribes to facilitate the decision-making process when mainly new players decide to register to the game. In addition, we want to save veteran players some time when they recruit new players in their alliance. Share these videos and you are pretty much good to go. There is a lot to learn on the battlefield. Before we start talking about our topic, don't forget to activate the subtitles in the option, subscribe to the channel and then click the notification bell so that you will never miss a video again. Now, let's talk about the Romans. Romans are mostly well balanced in defense and offense. Are they good for new players? The reputation of the Romans speaks for itself. They are probably the most well-known tribe in historical terms. And if your biggest aspiration is building an empire, then go for it. Romans are pretty versatile. They have an extremely powerful infantry and a mediocre cavalry, but they are not as easy to deal with as the Gauls. Their troops are expensive and you need to know how to survive the early game to excel as a Roman in the long run. They can be good for beginners, but maybe not for absolute beginners. What are their strengths? Their infrastructure has no rivals. As a Roman, you can build or upgrade one resource field and one building in parallel. If your Travian Plus is activated, you can also queue up an additional building or field. And that's what we mean by building an empire. Their city wall provides the highest defense bonus of all tribes, but it's also very easy to destroy, so be careful with that. Your economy will also prosper if you play as Roman. At the lower levels, Roman merchants have the lowest capacity and average speed, but by building a trade office, you will easily catch up on other tribes and surpass them by far. That's one of the reasons why Roman might appear weaker in the early game, but a powerful machine in the end game. And of course, we cannot forget to mention their special building, the Horse Drinking Through, a very powerful tool, especially in the end game. This tribe specific building decreases the training time of cavalry and the upkeep of these troops as well. Time to train some horses. What are their weaknesses? We have already mentioned the two biggest weaknesses, expensive troops and a weaker early game. If you are not a newbie to the game, you will quickly learn how to work around those pain points, but it might take some practice. But of course, your reward will be the biggest empire ever existed. We mentioned that Romans are good both in defense and offense, so what about the troops? As we mentioned in the episodes about the Teutons and the Gauls, Every alliance has its own strategy, so we always encourage you to discuss in the comments below what are the best units for each tribe. Playing as a Roman normally means building a lot of infrastructure before switching to troops. Once you are done with that, you can go both for defense or offense, or even just building thousands of Equitas Legatis to support your alliance. Romans are very flexible with that. The best and cheapest troops for a defense army are Praetorians to fight against infantry and Legionnaire to defeat cavalry. If you want to go for an offense army, then go for Imperians and Equitas Caesaris. You will feel like a true Julius Caesar. Oh, don't forget that Equitas Caesaris are also amazing to defend against cavalry, so try to invest some resources in those horses. And that's a wrap! Next in line, Hans! Don't forget to leave your suggestion down below in case we missed something. 
Thank you for watching and make sure you stay tuned on our Facebook page, blog and forums for all your travel news. As always, happy reading everyone!